welcome, welcome, child of God. God, welcome. This is Pastor Ignatius Mulenga from Lusaka, Zambia. I will come you to a program called Let's Pray with Pastor Ignatius Mulenga. This is a wonderful program. This program will be coming every Sunday on the social media as well as on TV as well, right here in Lusaka, Zambia. Uh, child of God, you know, the Word of God comes to bring restoration. The Word of God comes to bring healing. The Word of God comes to bring salvation in our lives in the name of Jesus, the living God. I encourage you, child of God, that uh, this God we serve is merciful. He will never fail in your life in the name of Jesus, the living God. Whatever you are looking for God to give it to you, child of God, it's only God who can come through for you. No one else but God in the name of Jesus, the living God. Well. As we know that the word of God comes to bring restoration and healing and deliverance, prosperity, salvation. It's on the word of God. We are going to read in the book of Zah, in Zah chapter 43 verses 2, uh, which says, uh, When you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. When you pass through the levers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will set you abreast. In the name of Jesus, the living God. You know, child of God, I came to encourage you uh, with the word of God, with the uh, title to say, we know you can go through the valleys. God will be with you in the name of, in the name of Jesus. If you know you can go through the waters, the Lord will be with you. And you know, God he says, you are going to pass through the waters, through the fire. God did not say, you shall enter the fire or you shall enter the water. God said, you only pass through. So child of God, whatever situation we face in our lives, we only pass through those problems. We don't stay in the problems. So I encourage you, child of God, to be connected to God. When you, you are connected to God, no matter how problems may come, certain problems they come, they, they seem to be big. Ah, you still is that sometimes, you know, there are certain battles which come in our lives, we even fail to understand. Say, if you have got no faith, you start to be crying. Say, hey, my father, where are you? What are you doing? Hey, you cry. You are the people who are crying right now. You have, you have locked yourself in the inner room. You are crying because of those battles, because of those problems you are going through. But I came to encourage you. Jesus said, God, you, on, you won't pass through. You won't just enter in the, in the problems. You only pass through. There are certain problems. There are certain battles. God allows us to pass through in order for God to change your character. In order for God to change your, 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 your thinking. The character, I mean, is that your thinking capacity to change. Sometimes people, we pray in a miss. Sometimes we want God to bless you. Say, when my God blesses me, they shall see. I shall be moving that car and shining them, showing them that I have managed to acquire a vehicle. Hey, when I have that house, I'll be showing them that I have a good house. Hey, when I have a nice wedding, I'll be showing them that hey, the Lord has given me a nice wedding. Child of God, that is praying in a miss. God doesn't want such things. God wants you when he blesses you. You become a blessing to others so that others also can be encouraged. That's what God is looking for. And God is looking for when he blesses you. God blessed Abla. He said, Abla, I blessed you. Whoever bless you, whoever bless you, I bless. Whoever kiss you, I shall kiss. And the Lord uh, spoke to Abraham in those areas. So, child of God, you need to be sensitive sometimes in our lives. When you are blessed, be a blessing to others. Abraham became a blessing to a lot of people. We are a, the descendants of Abraham. And you know, because of Abraham, your life is, uh, you are breathing now. You are God. You are not just me. Just like you are a great guy. The Lord to let the Americans wallet the Americans. The Lord to let the Americans wallet the Americans. The Lord to let the Americans wallet the Americans. The Lord to let the Americans wallet the Americans.
Jesus the living God. Don't worry if uh, your friends have neglected you because you are broke today. You have got no money. You know, whenever you go, you know, look for a job, you can't find a job. You find the security man who chase you by the gate. I say, hey, ah, we have no job here. What, what are you doing here? Yeah. You know, by, if you are a, a, a man of faith, you don't stop looking for a job. You continue pursuing, pursuing. One day you might meet a messiah. One day you might meet someone who's going to say, hey, you have been coming for too long here to this company looking for a job. But uh, I've just been, you know, convinced that I should give you a job. Uh, child of God, that's how it is. You know, per you know, perseverance is very important. There's a bad perseverance in our lives. Do not quit because of, uh, if uh, because the problems becomes too much for you. Keep on pushing, keep on praying, keep on being found in the presence of God. Keep on worshiping the Lord. When things become bad, just worship in the Lord. I said, my, my father, you are Yahweh. You are the God I know. You are a God who answers in a second. I know you shall answer me. Definitely the Lord shall answer you. In the name of Jesus, the living God. What valleys are you passing through, child of God? What problems are you passing through, child of God? The Lord, you shall deliver you completely in the name of Jesus, the living God. Mighty, wonderful Yahweh. May the Lord increase in your lives in the name of Jesus, the living God. Are you ready for, for me to pray with you in the name of Jesus? If you are a lady, do not just come out from this time, you know, from the broadcasting. Keep on listening to, you know, the, the word of God so that the word of God can transform you and change you in the name of Jesus, the living God. My Father, I pray for your people. Whatever powers they are passing through in their lives, change them now in the name of Jesus the living God. The valleys that are going through in their lives, can God remove them in the mighty name of Jesus the living God. Father, you said in your word that we shall only shall pass through the waters. You we will not be we will not be drawn. You shall pass through fire. We will not be burned. Jesus of Nazareth, help us, and God Almighty, to pass through whatever we are passing through. You know, for that, not for us to lose faith, but for us to be connected to you, so that the faith can increase in our lives. In the name of Jesus, the living God, when you bless us, King of Glory, our faith will increase. When you give that person looking for a child, their faith will increase. When you give that person who has been looking 
working for a job. Jobless has got children to look after. Kids are crying. They have got no food in that home. I pray for you. Let that job come so that you can take care of your family, so that you can manage to pay rentals, you can manage to pay bills in the name of Jesus the living God. Some of you have been, uh, been a laughing stock each and every time when you want to look for a woman to marry. A woman you say you have got no money. I cannot accept you. I came to pray for you. Let God enlarge your territory. In the name of Jesus, uh, that woman rejected you. As you go back, she's the one who's going to call you and say, hey, I have seen that you have changed. Now I'm ready for marriage. Hallelujah, child of God. Do not say, no, you refused me. Go and marry her. Because God destined that should pass through that problem so that he can transform you and change your character. In the name of Jesus, the living God, may the Lord reach you, bless you, and increase in your life. In the name of Jesus, the living God, whenever you shall touch, it shall be blessed. Whenever you shall put your feet, you shall possess the land. Go and succeed. Go and call your blessings of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. May the Lord bless you, child of God. Don't forget to you know to follow me on my Facebook page, which is Pastor Ignatius Mlenga, TikTok, and YouTube, as well as the numbers which are scrolling on the screen. Those numbers are that's my those are my numbers. You can WhatsApp me, and I'm able to you know communicate with you on whatsapp and pray with you in the name of jesus living god this time around we are rich we are reached children of god it's only god who can come through for us nothing apart from god when you invite god god will keep your home and keep your family and keep yourself in jesus name god bless you Amen.